Thank you very much, uh, all of you and all the organizers to, and the universities and the faculties, whoever, students who give me this opportunity to uh, speak some of my thoughts. So I'd like to say thank you from bottom from my heart. Um, today, my talk going to be, I have this uh, so-called, uh, they, have, they have two seats here. You want to sit there? Um, the, today my talk going to be the rhythm of happiness. It's a similar talk that I gave one or two years ago when I came here. That is the, everybody of course we all have similar wish, you know. Are you can hear me? Yes. All right. So we all have similar wish and the similar issues. That is uh, how to man maintain our life a little bit more um, comfort and calm and easier to face some difficulty in life, such as relationship, financial, health, and so forth. So how to develop our kind of rhythm that we can create a daily basis that we can face and we can do something better in our life and to others. So uh, they have two seats here. <laughs> Sorry, I need to break these things, but two seats there, one seat here, and one seat there. <laughs> so one seat there, and one seat here, gentlemen here. Okay, so one here, and one there. Okay, they sit more seat upstairs. So the rhythm of happiness is the first most important part is the I like to share is we all need to learn some kind of a routine a little bit that makes ourselves a little bit more calm and open. And why I use word rhythm? Because the most important part is we need to have some spaciousness in our mind, in life. So sometimes when we do, you know, we have always this saying that we have so many things to do, life is very fast, and I face something issues, and I cannot think, I'm, my mind is blocked, I don't know what to do, I need to do this, solve the problems. So basically you lose the kind of, not only calmness of the mind, but you lose about the spaciousness. Like such as, I just give you an idea that uh, I have a few of my friends who are going through the financial difficulties. So the first thing they send me is, you know, you know, well, I have this difficult, that difficult, and somebody who died, my, one of my friends, uh, uncle died, and all those things. And I have certain things to worry about it. So always you go through this kind of uh, challenge in life. Life is not always things that what we wish. So that's why always first thing what you do is in daily basis to create a kind of uh, openness in our mind is very important. So how to create openness? They always use two different exercises to open your mind. Have some kind of calmness and openness. Not only just calm and soothing, but you need to have open. So for example, I give you idea, when you feel rested, you feel a little calm and a little bit rested. You feel a little bit relaxed, you know, a little bit loose, loosen up, relax. And you go uh, face a problem. You have a little bit more resistance. You have patience to handle the issues, isn't it? Now you're really going through a hard time. Your physical is tired. Your mind is more stressed. And when you face this kind of challenging things, you don't have no space, no energy to face it. You become very emotional. Right? So similarly, it's very important to learn to create a space for the same time calmness. So what kind of exercise that I like to say, that the first exercise I already taught in this university before. The exercise is called the creating the space. Right? So that is something that is very simple. Right? You don't need to do uh, long meditations. Uh, long sitting meditations. You don't need to do it like that. Just stand up or sit down or you can uh, sit on the ground or on a chair. Whatever you feel comfortable. 
you try to, uh, they have seat empty and upstairs. Right yeah, right here. One seat is here. One seat is up there, free. Yeah. Mm. So what happened is, when you try to think the spaciousness around you and the spaciousness becoming slowly wider, 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 very vast, the space, the open space that you, I'm not talking about the sky, the spaciousness is very vast. And you start from first whatever you have spacious here, then you sit down, you can close your eye and you try to think the spaciousness more, 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 vast, vast. When you think few minutes of that, you know, the spaciousness, and you think how the vast of the spacious, you can feel your heart and your chest a little bit more relaxed and more open. Right? So this is the kind of exercise I like to teach because you don't need to have to say, I do meditate. Right? What you can do say, I do create space. Right? So it's much easier to certain people to handle this. Right? So creating space is always important. Now you can do this when? Whenever you have time. Now this is the whole idea about it. Because I told in the car, in our professor Pope here, I said, some people are very difficult to meditate. And they asked me, Rinpoche, I cannot sit down and meditate. I can't do that. It's impossible. Right? So I tell, my, my idea is this, that you don't need to sit down in the beginning. What you do is you don't forget that exercise for one minute, just to sit, you know, just how you're creating space and feel the spaciousness. Don't forget that completely. Just to come back a little bit, feel the spaciousness. Again, you do the work. Again, go back. Just feel the, just feel the spaciousness and go back. Few seconds you do that. That gives you kind of rhythm. All right? That's why I like to say the rhythm of happiness. Because it gives you kind of rhythm that makes you more space and more calming and spacious. When you create this, what happens is whenever you face a problem, you're not going to make neck or you're not going to how you say pull into that problem most of the time when we face problem we always suck into the problem isn't it right when you say i need to solve the problem and you need to think about the problem and you think about the problem but you're not thinking about how to solve the problem but you're only thinking about the problem so what happens is the problem becoming so important and so important so huge you lose whole importance of life you know you, you are leaving right so I said one day, I have a bad teeth, I have infection, and doctor need to take it out in Singapore. So when they take it out, I, you know, you know, teeth, you know, take it out, everything, and in the front teeth is, you know, it's not easy. And handsome looking like me, without having, uh, uh, without having a uh, bad teeth, is very bad, you know. So you you lose, and I have pain. So I sent a message to one of my friend. I said to him, I said, I am so lucky that I have pain in my teeth. Because I'm alive. Do you understand? Whenever you see problems, don't try to suck into that. Try to look a little bigger on that. The life self. So how you can uh, project your mind much wider because of you learn to create the space and you not learn to suck into it. That's why I tell people, please do the creating space. And you can teach your friends. Don't say meditate looks a little bit out of fashion. <laughs> 1990s, 2000s, is on pa in its fashion. Now we already know for 30 years, or 20 over years, creating space is much important. Right? So you sit there, few seconds, just think the spaciousness. Right? Do you see? You don't see resistance much. When you try to focus your breath, the resistance is there. Because our mind has a habit to think. We have no habit to focus. The focus for us is much difficult. Then, huh? So that's why you sit there, few minutes, you do work, sit there, few minutes, you go to the work, you study, for example, you feel issues. Just close your eye, create space. Just 
and you feel the openness, just rest there. So I give you one example. After I meeting some people there in the um, our professor Pope's uh, office nearby, and after that I just walk by and I walk at least five minutes, that without talking to any of my friends, just walk. And that time I remind myself about the creating space, being present in this moment, but at the same time creating space, bring up kind of goodness heart, and reflect, you know, and just walk. Right? And I see some people looking at me a little bit like, you know, <laughs> why this here, you know? And some people like smiling me, some people ignoring me, right? So now my mind starts judging myself. Oh, he ignored me, he liked me, he smiled me, like that. Your mind is not into the space, you see? You're just unnecessarily thinking about stuff, right? So that's why creating space is very effective. But the effective until you do it, right? For example, I'm thirsty. This is very, very traditional, right? I'm thirsty, but I look at the water. Water, water. <laughs> it's, not going to, no, it's not going to help my thirst. I need to drink, isn't it? Like that. In the some of you, you have no, never done meditation. So some of you feel like, really, I can do it? So that's why I tell people, I like to tell you, please don't force yourself in the beginning. What you do is just walk a few minutes and try to create space and sit in the office a little bit. Just feel the spaciousness. And think the spaciousness around and just sit a few seconds. Then again, you look at the work. Try to go back a little bit, reflect that, again go back and try to focus, then sometimes, sometimes focus a little bit your breath. Try to feel the sensation, the feeling of the breath, Are you, am I, you know, that you're breathing. Then you create some space. Right now, when you do it, your mind starts going to the music, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that means your mind is spoiled. <laughs> when you keep trying a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, your mind doesn't go there. That means you actually you becoming slowly by slowly, you can actually handling your mind much effective than before. So you need to experience how it's actually working, right? So this is the first thing I want to share. You need to alternate, alternate the two style. One is the creating the space, few minutes, few seconds, then come back, then again focus your breath. Again you create a space, you feel the spaciousness around, feel it, then again do it. When I taught this way, Many of my people who trained, who went, who, 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 who practiced that, they told me that they become much easier to handle issues. Number one. Number two, they said that they become uh, really becoming how you say they can see much bigger than before. Before they only see very limited space, but now they can see very wide. Right. So this is I call a rhythm of happiness because when you have that kind of rhythm, kind of mind that has a quiet routine of some spaciousness, some calmness, you are much happier. When you go to buy stuff, things, you're much easier to handle, easy to be happy, easy to be enjoy, easy to be appreciate, much easier. But when you lose the rhythm, like when you play a guitar, they have the sound called bass sound. Isn't it? They call it, before you do anything, they have a bass sound, right? Exactly the same thing when you, do want, you want to be happy. Everybody says, Rinpoche, how am I happy? How am I happy? You know? Like I say, okay, okay, well, 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 let, me, let me think, you know? So first thing you want to do is like, okay, eat this pill, right? I want to do that, right? But you can't do that, you know? You can't do that, really. You can't do that. So I'm always thinking like, okay, what I should do? What should I? So I, I need to say, okay, now, Go back to the basic, basic rhythm first. Before you play the music, go back to the basic. The basic is when you're very happy with yourself. What is the feeling like? Little bit open, 
little bit calm. That's what you're enjoying. Why you always take a lift, relief, a lift for one week, two weeks, and go to Bahamas, Hawaii, sit in a beach, and you know, put your body like this? Why you do that? Because you don't need to think extra stuff. You, are, you have some space, you have some calmness. That's why you're enjoying it about it. So you know this is actually helping you. Now how to carry that without spending money to go to, go to the beach, but try to carry that rhythm in your life? Right? So that is always sit a little bit, few minutes in the beginning. Just create the space means you think the spaciousness. Think the spaciousness. Always come back. Think the spaciousness. You, re, you, re, you re remind yourself. Think the spaciousness. Think the spaciousness. Think the spaciousness. Sound coming? Think the spaciousness. Then you feel slowly open up. When you really feel your op heart is opening, you try to just rest there. Enjoy the moment and rest. Right? That really gives you a very different perspective. Then you face a problem. Then you bring the problem in. Whatever the problem can be, physical, emotional, financial, energy, now I don't know what problem you have, pretty sure so many different kinds. So bring that all different problems, okay, just bring in. But try to maintain the feeling of the spaciousness. What happens is, when you see the problem, the problem is not going to be a big problem for you. Because you, all, you have the space, you have the distance, you have the space in to see the problem. You can see the maneuver of your mind, how to solve the problem, much easier, much practical. Right? So that you, you can create like that, you, you become a much easier for yourself. Because of that reason, you feel happy for yourself. Because of that reason, you're happy for others. Right? So the rhythm of happiness is having spacious with the same time some calm. Right? So I know because I, I do things, I have dislike, like issues, I have judgmentals, emotionals, prides, all the things that we generally have. We all, I have that too. So you need to see how it's actually affecting you. How we actually to get out have some spacious. That's why creating space and have some kind of gentle uh, uh, focus or gentle awareness of your breath for a few seconds. Then alternate. Again, create space, feel the spaciousness. You could feel the spaciousness like that within a few minutes. Really, I'm telling you. It's not going to take long, long. It's going to like that. When I give this talk in the, um, um, West Georgia, um, Michigan, Michigan State, Michigan State <laughs> University, and there people came and I told them in the public talk. Then I next day I met some people. They told me they said Rambo J. They one. Oh, Rambuji, I practiced the meditation for a long time, but I never felt the spaciousness. Now I felt it. So easy, right? I said, that's good, right? That's good. But don't attach, but it's good, right? Feel <laughs> spacious. It's good, right? Really, I'm no kidding to you. Many times we do mistakes because of that reason. So that's why the rhythm of happiness, the first is have some calmness, but some openness. Right? This is number one, right? Number two. We always need to train to have gentle improvement. Right? I always tell people, to, you need to learn to improve yourself. Right? So you need to always, how I can improve myself? Right? How, I can, like, uh, uh, how I, I can improve or develop my better personality? How I can do that? You're always looking forward to development. So how you do that? You learn to reflect. Okay, learn to reflect yourself, meaning your behaviors. Right? How you behaving? How you, uh, how you thinking? How you saying? How they affecting you? How it actually is? is <clears throat> how they actually transforming your mind? Right? I give you one example. 
One time, when I met, uh, I have a friend, you know, and I'm not so happy with him one day. Then I told him, oh, how are you, man? Are you okay? Then he says, of course, I'm okay. But I just said, you know, but I'm, I'm upset. Right? I'm angry, but I'm saying these things, right? So you can see that how your mind is working. You need to learn to reflect. Now I'm, to, I'm now the second rhythm is I'm teaching you, I'm telling you something that you, 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 you're doing something like that to yourself, but not much. Right? Most of the time we are like this, you know. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Right? You don't see, you don't see the reflection. Right? You don't reflect yourself. When you, whenever I say reflect, you have sometimes uncomfortable. You feel uncomfortable saying that, oh Rinpoche, I don't know what I'm going to see, you know. I'm afraid that I, I should, I'm going to see something that I don't want. Right? That's why I said always before you go to that reflecting yourself, you always tell yourself, I want to improve. I really want to a, a transform and improve. When you have that, the opportunity in your heart is much more open. Right? So now you try to reflect. Reflect meaning you try to look what you did yesterday. How, what kind of emotion I had. How uh, I behave. Did I shout? Like today I give you an example, I drove a car to the bank with my friends, right? So I, I slowly come down, there's so many cars going up and going down, so I need to see the gap of the cars, yeah? <clears throat> then I saw one gap, then I saw one car coming down, but he's giving the right uh, yellow signal to go into the bank, right? So I thought he's going to go to the bank, right? So I took a chance to put the car in the front, and he gave me a big horn. You know, and he's shouting at me, right? Like this, you know. I'm talking about in here, Atlanta, right? Judge Atlanta. <laughs> so I, I say, so I, I try to how you say, go back, you know, re reverse. And I say, you yellow signal is on. Okay, I, I shout it back. And I say, you yellow. Signal. Then he noticed that, and he just keep quiet and drove, right? Right? Now he no, he noticed his problem, yeah. Is it, you know? So we have similar 50-50 mistake, but I think I'm giving him five more, right? <laughs> so 55 and 45, right? Not, not like 100% mistake and I have no mistake. It's not like that. 55, 45, right? <laughs> do you see, that, do you see that, that, that thing? We always have a way to reflect other and judge other, isn't it? We like to say always your problem, right? That comes in the family issues, job, yourself, relationship, friendship, every single thing. We always say, it's your problem. I'm not kidding to you. Whether you meditate, whether you don't. You always say that. And I always say that. When you start doing saying that, okay, I need to create space a little bit, a little bit, calm down, have gentle focus on my breath, then slowly you'll go forward and say, okay, now I want to have improvement. All right? I really want to improve. That person did not make my feeling bad. That person who shouted at me. Because I just done meditation before. I went to bang. I take very easy that what happened. When he shouted at me, I shouted, I, I shouted at him, say, your light is on, right? But I'm not angry with him. I don't have no, like how you say, negative towards him. And because of that feeling is what? I don't have no negative feeling with me. Because I don't have no negative feeling with me, I don't hate myself. You understand? Because I don't help myself, I have the rhythm, the basic rhythm of happiness. Because I don't have it, I have nice tea. I'm happy. <laughs> Do you see the basic rhythm of happiness? Basic rhythm of happiness is always you want to improve. But at the same time, you need to reflect yourself. Because we have many different kinds of mistakes. How we behave with our own relationship. How we behave with ourselves. How we behave with our own parents. How we behave with the people who are lower than you. How we behave with people higher than you. We all have different reactions. So we always need to learn to be sincere, 
to genuine, but you always go forward and say, I want to improve. Now that opens up your opportunity. Am I clear to you? Yes. First, create space. Second, gentle focus. Two, right? Yes. <laughs> One yes, big yes. Right? <laughs> and third, oh, means always you go forward to you want to improve. But at the same time, you sit there, always you do alternate. You know alternate? Like when you do exercise, physical exercise, first you do a little slow and strong, slow, strong, stretch, isn't it? You alternate, yeah? You don't exercise, you don't stretch. Pain here, pain here, pain here, isn't it? Same thing, when you start doing the rhythm of happiness, little bit creating space, feel the spaciousness, you feel a little bit, gentle focus your breath, uh, through your breath. Then you bring up, say, I really want to improve my behavior. I really want to improve my way of thinking. I really want to improve how I handle difficulties. Just reflect like that, remind like that. Right? Then after that you slowly, you get a little better. Then I again go back. Go back to the spaciousness. Then go back to the again to the focus. Again you say you really want to improve. Then you slowly, I want to reflect what to improve. Order it. Now I want to go a little bit farther. We have mistakes of behaviors, yeah? Somebody says, how are you? When you're angry, I'm fine. <laughs> right? Somebody give you... You look at a very negative eye, you know? Somebody... I went to many restaurants in uh, Cam Cambridge, Cambridge. I went to many restaurants, very nice people, but some people are server as such and not nice. Right? <laughs> And I met one person, very nice. He speaks English so clean. Right? Today's food is like, you know. I, I, I'm very impressed. And I say, I met, you are the best person server in Cambridge, I said to him. Right? This is my own, uh, I give him this, how you say, I don't know how to say this one. <laughs> I like to do this, I don't know how you say it in English, but, uh, huh? Okay, whatever that is, I do like that. Uh, this bum, right? So I did that, and he's happy, you know. Then always I, you know, I, I, I try to not to forget uh, the kindness, right? So when I do reflection myself, I reflect. Then I go back again. Then I say, okay, now I'm done. When I do reflection, I don't do just only behaviors. Now I'm going to teach you a little bit deeper, right? I want to go a little deeper, right? This is how I teach to people, right? This five finger is to represent five negative thoughts. Okay? So first, anger. Anger. Ah! <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Facebook, I hate you, you are the worst person. Don't trust him, all right? Now you remember, all right? Remember, all right? Or, or, or? You know, you know what I'm saying? You don't say, you don't write, you don't shout, you don't beat. But you express right? anger. See, now you see the just anger is not just one. Many small, small, tiny things. Right? You see, when you have angry, are you happy? No. You're not just burning the person. You're burning yourself too. You not have gentle in your heart. You, can, you know that. Because of that, you hate yourself too. I'm not kidding to you. Right? I'm very short-tempered. I was very short-tempered when I was younger, 
Okay? For example, you think I learned Kung Fu? I don't learn Kung Fu, right? But I learned anger, right? You know anger? When I'm angry, I punch the wall. Right? Look here. I don't punch this one, I punch this one. <laughs> right? Look, Kung Fu means both should be balanced, yeah? Look, I'm angry, I punch. Beginning when I'm angry, I throw stuff, you know? And one day I throw my watch, the big clock. But that clock is very good for me because they have a ring, the rings, rings that makes me wake up in the morning in college. Right? When I throw, he broke. Next day, I cannot wake up. <laughs> then I told myself, I can be angry, but never throw something that is useful. <laughs> right? You learn, right? You learn from mistakes, right? Right? The, the, the clock is like this. That kind of sound. It's not that ting, 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 doesn't wake me up, right? I'll give you an example, right? I punched the wall right? when I was younger. Really, I have like that. So I noticed that I always go forward and say, I want to improve that. Right? So I create space, gentle focus my breath. Right? From there, I reflect myself how my anger is actually happening, how my mind is coming. So the first is anger. Second, pride. You know pride? Pride can be by look. Pride can be by uh, body size, education, dress, look. It's pride. Right? When I come to America, my pride little goes down. Because American people, who the idea of handsome is not my me, right? <laughs> but when I go to Asia, my price goes up because Asian likes kind of like you know handsome like me, right? <laughs> so depends on the where you are, the pride goes up or down, right? So pride. Right? I'm being very straightforward. Pride. Right? You look carefully, right? Pride means you always look down. You always look down. You feel down. You look down. Right? Many reasons. Okay, the pride. Second. Jealousy, uh, jealousy, right? Jealousy, you know jealousy? Jealousy burns in. You're not happy. He's doing well, you're not happy. He have, like I have the one person who's taking photo, his arm's this big, right? <laughs> and look at my arm, right? look at my arm, right? what is this, right? So I told him, said, I'm very jealous, right? <laughs> right? right? I'm okay, I just say that, right? Number third, I just want to say, really, it's very careful, you watch. Jealousy is going to burn you. And jealousy, mostly time, comes in your attachment, relationship, familyhood, friendship, work, work, working time. Jealousy is always like that. Right? Now, jealousy is not healthy. Competitive, competitive, mind, competitive mind, you can balance a competitive mind with the jealous, it's okay to improve. But the jealousy itself is not healthy. It's a just a feeling to burn you, but not improvement. Competitive mind always you want to get better. You need to have that to be, you know, skillful improvement. So I'm talking about very practical: anger, pride. Jealousy. Fourth, attachment. Attachment. Attachment means holding, right? I have my opinion, right? You hold your opinion. I have my name, you hold the name, right? You, everything you attached, you hold, you have pain, right? So attachment, right? Number fifth, I'll give you an example of attachment. Long time ago, like 10, 15, 10 years ago, when I finish, finish my college, the first thing my father gave me some money. Say, okay, this is your present for you to finish study. So I put that money to the bank and I bought first car, right? I bought a car. And the car is very like second-hand Korean car that nobody knows, right? <laughs> not a Hyundai, not a Kia, not, 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 Kia. Not, not, not a Kia, not Hyundai. This name is called Rextron. I, nobody is not, right? And you don't know what I'm talking about, right? So I bought that car because it's very cheaper than any other car, right? So I bought, I drove, and I wash every day. I clean the car every morning, right? I drove, right? So one day, my friend wanted to drive. I said, okay, you can drive. Boom! 
he hit it. Oh, I feel like my heart is just bang, you know. But I cannot shout because he's my friend. And he said, I'm so sorry. I said, fine, it's fine. But in my heart, he said, ah, you're so bad. You did it, you know. <laughs> so why did I have the pain? Because it touched me. Not because of the car. Not because of me. Because my attachment. You understand? So always, you, when you do uh, improvement, you want to go to the basic rhythm of happiness, you need to know what to improve. When you do not know what to improve, you cannot improve. Right? So that's why I try to go. This is a little bit deeper. right? That's why anger, pride, jealousy, attachment. Last one, blind spots. What are you saying? Are you angry? I'm not. I'm not angry. What are you saying? You know, you just you just behaving in anger. You're completely angry, but you say I'm not, right? That is the, all the time we do mistake in life. We do so much mistake. We create so much unhappiness ourselves because because of the blind spot. Now you tell me, doing just yoga practices. Just doing a, a meditation that with the focus, you think you can get back to the rhythm happiness? You can't. Because of not, because you don't have no tools to improvement. To improve, you need to have two tools. One, willing to, ex willing to transform, willing to improve. But the second tool to support that is to reflect how to improve, what to improve. So without these two, you cannot be improved. Do you understand? Okay. <laughs> I only get one person to say yes. Okay. Number first, you 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 create uh, anger. <laughs> Number second, <laughs> number third. <laughs> yeah. Number four. <laughs> Number fifth, blind spots. Okay? The danger is like this. You meditate, you practice yoga. One day you're going to say, did it help me a little bit, but did not help me so much. Why? Because you didn't saw what to improve. You didn't saw what is actually that I have mistakes? Right? So this is I want to say. First I want to say is have a creating space a little bit, think the spaciousness, then some time to time try to focus your breath, you know, just sensation here. Like that, focus. Bless you. Then you create space again. Spaciousness, think of the spaciousness. Feel. Then say, I really want to change. I really want to improve. So now, first I'm going to reflect on my behavior on anger. So you reflect, oh, yesterday I shout at somebody. Yesterday I had anger, but I did not react. So you can see many things. And you say, then again, after that, I really want to change. So when you start doing that, you get kind of rhythm that you always on the ch transforming and become happier and happier. Your heart becomes a, such a soft, transform. You really enjoy yourself. You really appreciate yourself. You have respect to yourself. When you have that, naturally you love yourself. You don't need to say, I love myself, I love myself. Sometimes that love is just a delusional. Do you know? I love myself. Delusional because inside mind yourself, you know you don't like yourself. But you try to tell yourself, I love myself. That is not the rhythm of happiness. Rhythm of happiness is going backwards, and again, create the space, 
focus gently in the breath, you combine these two, then after that, say, I really want to change, willing to transform whatever I see, then you have a little bit reflect, just pick one, like anger, try to improve. All right? Right now, what I'm sitting in the front of you, and I'm asking people to sit, I'm not acting, I'm not behaving. I will say, I'm not just uh, faking myself, right? I just being myself, yeah. All right? I just want, I hear for you, I don't know all the first people up there, I don't see so your face much, but it's okay. I really wish all of you, please practice. That really can transform you. When you see some transformation, you see the respect to yourself. When you gain the respect yourself, you gain some kind of happiness yourself. Not only that, you're becoming more realistic, more genuine to you. You become more sincere. You become so sincere, you become actually fearless. Because you, when you don't have, when you reflect yourself, and you see it, you become fearless. You understand? When you don't practice yourself, just listening some talks, then you go back, you forget. It's really, you know, worth less. You go back, do some practice. Need, just give a time to yourself. For example, when you need to do some exercise, you need to give some time for yourself. When you do a study, you need to have some time to yourself. When you build, when you build a relationship to some companion, you need to give some time. Isn't it? When you go to work, you need to give some time, actually many time, many hours per day to work. But why you cannot spare a, a 15 minutes or 10 minutes for yourself just to reflect, go back to create the space, focus the gentle breathing exercise, <coughs> then try to say, I really want to change myself. And from there, you slowly say, okay, I need to change this. Right? This is very important. Now the third important point I'd like to share with you is always you need to feel kind of feeling very positive to others. It's very important. Right? You need to learn to be genuine. You need to be sincere. Right? You cannot be sincere to people. I'm not telling you to be sincere to people. First, I try to be saying the sincere to yourself of your feeling. So for example, you, when you sit there, create space, little bit, focus your fo little bit, feel the spaciousness, little bit, focus the breath, little bit, then you say, yes, I want to change now, transform now, then you reflect a little bit, say, okay, I want to change my anger towards my wife, or my companion, all right? Oh, I did the mistake, not good, right? I need to change that, you know? You really need to do that, okay? You don't do that, you always go into problem, Ningje, poor guys. You all want to be happy, you know? You all really always you want to be calm, a little bit calmer mind. You're all are kind of happy, I think, right? But you want to be a little bit more positive, yeah? And you, now I'm teaching you technical things to see how you can improve. Reflect, you're willing to transform and reflect. What to reflect? Anger. You, know, you want to know a little deeper than that? These five poisons, five thoughts, connected to who really feed this. This is just a, is actually expression. It's not a real thing. This is expression of continuum of your mind who is judging, who is comparison, comparing, judging, and opinions. Especially the judgment is to produce these emotions. I don't like you. I like you. Understand? This judgment always related to your ego. Me. Okay? Now I'm just teaching you is the only the how to handle the five thoughts, five negative thoughts. I'm not talking about the judgment. You understand? After judgment is ego. Here. Ego, judgment, poison. Poison come together, punish. Yeah? Really? Then this is ego. Ego connected to blind spot again. We call ignorance, not just blind spot, ignorance. This all like that. You see? 
So like, for example, many of you are here looking at me, and I'm very happy. But do I have any pride? No. Literally, no. You have 10 people, I'm okay. So all of you come, I'm okay, I'm very happy. But then I need to make sure what I say to benefit to you, not to show off, to see some changes that you can do some exercise yourself. Right? So that's why I like to repeat 100 times, I can, but I cannot 100 times, so I try to repeat 10 times, okay? <laughs> Creating space, after creating space, you feel the spaciousness, you know. After that, you back to focus the breath. After focus the breath, again, you go to feel the spaciousness, right? You have problem, you bring the problem. When you feel the spacious, bring the problem. You can think the problem. The problem is so tiny. The space is so big. Big jumbo, 380, uh, Boeing. 450 people can fit the big Boeing. For space, it's a small body. Right? So when you feel the spaciousness, it's not a big problem. Right? So after that, slowly, slowly get better, then you say, okay, now I want really to transform. Then you reflect yourself. What? The pie poisons, the reaction, the big one first, anger, and reflect. After that, you always do this. Have some positive feeling. Whether you feel or not, doesn't matter. You always say, I really wish, I've, I'm very, very fortunate that what I have, but at the same time, I'm very thankful to all the people who are being kind. This too is, I like to say, is wealth. You know wealth? is wealth. It's, it's richness. Thinking that, you know, thinking that I'm very, I'm a very fortunate and I really appreciate all the people who did something good to me, like very not forgetting the <coughs> kindness. This too is something, this is very important. The kindness and appreciation is very important, this too. Right? This is, I think no need to explain so much. I think you all do this very well. But don't forget the kindness, okay? Never ever forget the kindness. Especially your own parents. Your brother, sister, get him parents, whatever that is, don't forget. Anybody you have parents who's uh, uh, far away, give a nice call today. You can send $5 worth flour in the internet. You cannot just give a call, hi dad, hi mom, or hi whoever that is, your loved one. I send many love, I think of you. Just do that. Think of the kindness. It's very, very important. This too. I willing to, I really wish, you know, sit there, reflect. I want to transform, what to transform. You have, oh, I really wish, you know, I really feel very fortunate. Then same time, I really thankful all the kindness that I received. Then right away from that, what you do, I wish all be happy. When you feel that joy, they feel that warmness, the rhythm that you get, thinking that I'm very fortunate, right? All the thankful, all the people who did something kindness to me, when you get the feeling, right away you had the feeling, you, you, the feeling goes up like that, you send out. I wish all being happy. You, you send out. And when that happens, the, the, the mind becomes a very positive. The very refreshing, very meaningful, very positive, very transforming. So this is something that I want to share. But you need to do every time, every day. You need to do this. Whether you believe, whether you don't believe, whether you have religion, whether you don't, <laughs> whether you're busy or you're not busy. You try to do that one by one. Really going to help you. Right. This is the basic I want to share. Not much. I want many, but I don't want to mess up things that what I said. Sometimes they disappear, you know, what I say. The first I said, creating space. Okay? Think the spaciousness. Maintain, feel the spaciousness, think the spaciousness. The spaciousness is very vast. And rest. Bring back your mind to the focus, your sensation, the breath, few seconds, few minutes, then again go back to feel the spaciousness. After that, you always say, okay, I really want to change now. I really want to improve. Now what to improve? Reflect in. Then you reflect in anger,
Okay, that is the only negative thoughts, okay? I did not say low self-esteem. I did not say self-judgment. I did not say guilt. I did not say loneliness. I did not say depression. Right? This is all a byproduct. <clears throat> Understand? When you self focus too much, you all have that. Right? I can talk, but I don't want to say too many things. Right? Just, just, just think. Right? I have low self esteem when I was younger. I do. Right? People look it down, they, they're playful to you. You feel low self-sustain, you judge yourself, you become more problem into it, and you're always thinking about it. You really want to transform, but you can't. You're always judging yourself. You don't know what to do. You keep thinking of yourself. You're unhappy with yourself. That happens, all right? That's why I'm telling you, go back to meditate, create the space, focus the breath, <coughs> reflect a little bit, willing to transform, you alternate this. You know, that helps. Then after that, you always say, I'm very fortunate what I have, what I am. Right? With that feeling, right away, I'm very thankful. All the kindness to the people who put me, give me. When you have that feeling, right away, you, you feeling that comes up, you say, I wish all be happy. Right? Then you end there. It then ends. Right? When you start doing that, the, the rhythm of happiness is little bit calm. Little happy positive. You can see small things here, their problem. You're willing to transform. And at the same time, you appreciate your life. You appreciate people. Because you think about the kindness, you have appreciation. And that com completes kind of rhythm. Basic rhythm. rhythm. Then you go back to the party, uh, talking, this uh, thing, lie down, sleep, spend time with the friends. Every time you feel a little bit more joy, a little bit more happier. <coughs> Are you uh, clear? Yeah. What, what is not clear? Any, anything is not clear? <laughs> you, you have no clear, you can tell me, please. I, I, I have no, uh, no agenda. What? Blind spots. Yeah. How do you reflect on your own blind spots? Good question. Good question. Blind spot always need other people's reaction. Because you can't see now. Right? So you always need action, meaning your behavior. When you're acting with somebody else, when there's somebody is saying to you, you're being short tempered and you don't see it, or something like that, keep Problems coming up, just keep thing, keep same thing hitting, right? That means you need to know I have this issue now. You understand? When your mind is open like that, then mind easier to see it, right? That's why I tell people sometimes you do long meditation does not mean you reduce your blind spot, because blind spot only appears when you're reacting with people, when you're behaving sometimes doesn't come in the meditation all the time. Some do, sometimes do, sometimes don't. So always you talk to people, like for example, so many people <laughs> like that. The first thing I do, I, I check myself. Am I being pride? proud? I don't affected by pride. I'm sincere. I'm genuine. When I don't have no pride, I don't see you lower than me. You understand? I see much equal, I see more respect, more real, real, realistic. You understand? In relationships like that, friendships like that, yourself is like that. Right? So you need to compare with what, how the people react and you see yourself. Just need a few times training like that, then you get better. But don't judge yourself. Don't Judge yourself. Don't judge myself. No, okay, this is good English. I don't know. Don't <laughs> judge yourself. Don't <laughs> judge. Really, don't, you make like that. Because you don't do that, you always go back to the judgment and you feel bad. How you know you're judging, you feel bad. 
You train to see how his judgment is. Like when you drive a car, you need to watch the stop sign. Yes or no? You can't go boom like that. When the police sees, they're going to give you a ticket, right? So you always your mind remind to see the stop. Likewise, when you remind the, not to judge, whenever you start judging, you can see it. Right? Because our, our mind, we don't have no use to do that. Your life, I'm telling you, becomes so happier after a few months later you do that. Really, you become so happier. The first thing you want to do is, you're telling your friends, please don't judge. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm no, I'm no kidding, really. Because I dress like this, and you're all thinking like, ah, oh, you know, this guy, pretty sure, coming from forest, you know, I don't know what, you know. <laughs> don't think that, right? I know history, I do everything like, you know, I know more basic stuff, right? I live American lifestyle too, so don't worry about it. I watch YouTube, right? <laughs> everything, you know, I do this stuff, so don't worry about it. I know exactly. Okay, I tell you one thing. Addiction, you understand? Morning, where, where I up, wake up, I like to post Instagram, you know Instagram? <laughs> I, I like to post photos, right? So whenever I wake up, the first thing is, I want to see how many people like my photo. Right? When I see 80 people, I'm like, a little bad mood, right? I see 200 people, I'm like, now you see your happiness is not in your hand. In the posting in Instagram. Right? So after that I see it, I don't look at it. The first thing I wake up, I sit in the meditation, in the bed. After bed finish, I brush my teeth, everything done, then I open. <laughs> you understand? When I reflect, when I see things, I change my habits. That's why you can change your addiction. Right? Like that. I'm talking about small addictions, okay? It's not a big deal, but small, small stuff, you know? Anybody you want to know more clear about it? Um, thank you so much for this very insightful talk. I think it's very feasible to, you know, the, the steps you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I have two questions. The first mm -hmm. one is about pride. I know, you know, it doesn't really apply to ourselves. You know, it's, it's not the best, like you said, to be proud of yourself. But sometimes to be a teacher, we like to say, I'm proud of your work, I'm proud of what you do. Or the parents say that to their children yes. too. Or, we and how to how to do it? Yeah, um, my question is that are those words actually bad addictions? No, no. What, what I do is this: when the teacher say to me, I, I have many friends nowadays. They tells me, "Wow, Rambuche, you teaching so great," and blah blah blah. All this I say, that is my credit for that. It's only five percent. I said, the fifty credit is my teacher, forty-five credit is my effort. I practice a little bit, but five credit only mine. So I don't have no pride. I don't own that credit. And you don't feel pride. When you think is you, you take ownership, you gain pride. Right? So this is what I do. <laughs> Anybody? No from top? Uh, going back to judgment, is there no situations where judging something is a good thing? Noticing is a good thing, not a judgment. Because when you judge, the feeling bad and feeling good comes up. When the feeling bad and feeling good come up, your mind already go into the feeling, your, your decision is going to be not clear. That tells you, you watch, they have say, many business people, the decision always is not going to the emotions. When you go into emotions, your decision is not going to be clear. Same thing with the relationship. You have relationship, don't take decision things in the emotion. Emotion always tells you something wrong. When your mind is a little calm, a little open, a little bit think, thankful, thinkful, deep thinking, then you take a decision. Yeah. Anybody? I got one. So there's a tendency for a lot of people to place problems on others. Do you think that can be immersed when we place the problems too much on ourselves? 
we blame ourselves too much for I'm no I, I didn't say blame yourself. Yeah. I said reflect yourself. Mm -hmm. I did not say blame. I mean that the, the problem is that you blame yourself. Oh no no that's why you need to make sure not to do that. You understand? You always go like this. I want to change, I want to reflect. But no blaming, this very good point, no blaming, no judging. I'm telling you, when you start to do that, your confidence grows. And your mistake reduce. Because of that, you appreciate your life. I'm telling you, please do. Please, please, do now. Don't do when you have a problem, because it's very difficult to teach when you have very problem. Now is the time to do. And your problem does the problem comes, emotion problem comes, not affect you that much. They, because they have resistance to wall to go in. You know, the firewall of a computer, the protection firewall is there. But you don't do practice like that. Firewall is not there. Anytime presentation comes and kicks in. You know, the firewall is very important. That's why you, every day you need five minutes practice. That doesn't affect you much. That's why I'm saying, please, please, please practice. I put my two thumbs, it's my own tradition style. Please do it, meditate. You don't need to believe me, just do yourself, right? You get better. Huh? You don't have time to, because I'm going to go away. Our professor Pope is here. All right? Please, he, he's through meditation, and he teach meditation in Saka, Saka, <coughs> Saka, <coughs> Saka, uh, psychology, and I met few his students is asking very deep questions. Then I I told professor, why you start teaching deep things, huh? <laughs> because the student asking deep questions, right? So I, I that's why please you don't have no time to I mean come to professor learn some basic thing, right? Please, it's going to be change for you, right? Okay, anybody last things to ask? Where is it? Okay. Back here. Yeah, yeah. Regarding attachment, what's the relationship and the difference between attachment and love? For, for us, it's mixed. When you love, you're attached. But now, it's the same. I'm not going to say much. But in the little bit go advanced, you get a little better, you can maintain the love, you can reduce the attachment. Attachment, love is different. Love, is the, you love the person. Attachment is mine. Love, always you give them, you give them the space to them. You respect them. To love to who? But when you attach, you don't give the space, it's mine. You see the differences? So that's why it's, in the beginning, it's not like that. But then after that, you, you get practice better, you always see the differences. You can maintain the love, but you lose the, reduce, reduce the Mm, and the attachment and pride and dignity, confidence and pride is very mixed for us. But the dignity, the confidence means you having self, self trust, self respect, self belief. Pride means you always look down compared with you. There are other people worse, and I'm better. It's different. Now for us, it's same. It's like that. So when you start reflecting, getting better, the pride stays, no, no. A dignity stays, pride uh, like reduced. Right? And strength, you know strength? And anger is, is very same for us. Right? But anger is hatred, you don't like the person. Strength means you have the will to do. But that is changes after. You see? So these things come later, because right now I cannot teach these things, because it doesn't make sense to you so much. I can explain, but when you start doing it, you can feel it, it's changing. You can feel it, you have love, but you have the same time love, respect, but no attachment. And your opinion is not strong. Your opinion is not strong. Always you have respect. So it's very interesting. This all comes from meditation training. Like reflection, sincere, doing things, be more gentle, more very, very nice. This is how you develop. And I love to teach these things in the future. Anybody you're interested, but not now. You need to learn to walk before run.
right? And I, uh, I was wondering because you know you come from Tibet, right? And so it's a, it's I come from Nepal. Uh, but I'm sorry. Nepal. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. But um, so, how do you? What's your view on like dealing with cultural differences when it comes to America? Yeah, like interaction. So, how does that? How does that play? Two things. First, I like to study. When I came to America, I like to study about America. Geography. History, religion, behavior, I like to study. Southern people eat what? Sweet tea, chicken fry, very nice actually. <laughs> right? When I go to the north, they don't know what a sweet tea means. I tell them, give me a sweet tea, they just give me a tea pack and a hot water, that's it, you know? <laughs> When I come to here, I, say, I don't. Uh, Georgia is south, yeah. So I said, "Oh, give me some sweetie." Oh, okay, okay. I'm just drinking sweetie. Actually, this is not a sweetie. This is outside the fake, inside sweetie, right? <laughs> I like sweetie, right? So, learning culture like that. But then the second time is I don't have no strong opinion of myself. You understand? I don't have no. I don't have no strong opinion of myself coming to U.S. So when I came to U.S., I tried to adapt it. So I wake up in the morning, I eat bagel, for example, right? I drink a coffee, I watch a movie, I go to a shopping center, I just do like normal stuff, you understand? I don't make strict, say, oh, I am this. And I try to adapt things, what is going on? And I learn the culture easier, and I open up things. Sometimes I, how I teach now, I don't think so, it's really good for the Asian people. You understand? Because I'm too open. Asian people like, it is reserved, like, I wonder you all practice meditation. <laughs> and I know because I have tradition, lineage, and training. You need to trust me. Today I'm going to teach you meditation. Sit like this, think like that. I guarantee you, you get better. Asian style. <laughs> American style, please practice. <laughs> this this means please, uh, my style, please. You know, our our culture, please. I don't know in English how you do. Please, please, or please. I I don't know how you do it. We don't have you don't have no please, like this, like this. Yeah. I say, please. Right. And I make jokes sometimes. I say, I give you four thumbs up. <laughs> just kidding, just joking. Okay? All right. So, anybody from top? Okay, thank you. I think uh, here we have to all spend a lot of time competing. You know, we have to be the best student, the best teacher, the best worker, so that we can always take care of ourselves and our families. Uh, so how do you uh, how do you remember to expand that to strangers or you know, not be so self-involved? I give you this is a very very good example. But I tell you something: when you do business, you have a customer, yeah. When you do study, you have a uh, how you say professors, and you need to study for further things to treatment for people, yeah. Everything is related for other, isn't it? Salesman, computer, business, whatever. It's for all, all, all mostly it's serving other. Sailing, serving, updating, upgrading, isn't it? When you think about how I can develop to help other, you can actually think much better to do well. You understand? When you do that, naturally you get make money more. Because you're not stuck with your head. How I can help my wife that I can develop my, our family better? Right? How I can sell things that what people really like? Right? So when you think about other, you can do much better uh, PR. PR and re relation. You know? Like for example, I, I have American Express, and I called yesterday, three days ago. I said, my American Express is not working, you know. I tried to apply this, and they said, no accepting. I said, please, you need to help me. And the lady says, what, what is your name, what is it, you know, very, very bad, you know. 
I said, okay, okay, this is my, this is, this is, I want this, please send me down to Georgia Atlanta. She said, okay, okay, I want to send there, okay. But she didn't send, right? So again, I call today, one man call up. And I, I said, okay, I, I call that and please. He said, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, I'm going to send tonight. I'm going to reach tomorrow there before 7 p.m. Don't worry about it. I said, oh, thank you so much. Be happy. I said, you, you make me happy today and you be happy and you can help other people happier. Right? This is called customer service, right? Why are you calling? Right? No, 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 you're not going to like it, right? <laughs> do you understand? So always you need to have relationship with others. Whatever you do, business, work, whatever. Right? So you get better because of the training of creating space. Thank you very much, all of you, giving me opportunity to, uh, to speak. I really wish that what I said is really can, you can get something from me, that what I explained. And please, you can practice a little bit, that you can see some changes in your life, and that way you can see some changes in your friends and family members. And because of you have so much potential to improve, you can help so many countless beings in your life. And that way your life is important, you enjoy your happiness. Just come from within 10 minutes per day. And you don't see the value from that. And I, I, I'm going to repeat, creating space with the focus of your breath. Creating space, focus your breath. Gentle, 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 gentle focus is much nicer word than focus, right? You understand the word is powerful, right? Gentle, aware. Now you focus your breath, right? <laughs> no good, right? Gentle, aware, the feeling of the, the sensation of the breath. Much better, okay? This two. Then third one, second one. I really want to change my, I really want to transform, I want to improve and reflect. What? Anger. Oh, nice. After that, you finish this. I'm, I'm very happy for myself, but at the same time, I'm really thankful to all the people who are really kind to me. Right? When you have that little bit feeling, little bit more rich feeling, nice feeling, and you change that feeling, say, I wish all being happy. 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 Or I wish all being happy like that. That is the most important, to love yourself. Not just love, respect. Not just respect, you gain so much of, how you say, in joy with this practice. Three steps only, all right? Thank you very much.